Hello, everybody. Welcome back to How Come. I'm so excited for this episode. We are talking to Corey Rodriguez and Gigi Angle about foot fetishes and kinks, feet, and what we like about them. Um, Corey is a comedian from Boston, Massachusetts. You might have seen him on Laugh Tracks on True TV, Unprotected Sets on Epics, or The Conan O'Brien Show. We're also talking to Gigi Angle, who is a certified sex educator and award-winning author. I love Gigi. Um, I love her book, All the Fucking Mistakes. Highly recommend. And um, yeah, we've tried to do this episode before, but it was insane. Tech New was not on our side. Corey was on a boat. It was crazy. Um, But it's finally here. We're talking about foot fetishes, and I'm really excited for you to hear it. If you love this episode, there's even more on Patreon that we did not let make it to the final cut. Patreon.com slash how come you can see the full thing unedited. And um, you can also see the last time that we tried to do it. And then everybody was like, absolutely not. Corey's on a boat and everybody else's Internet sucks. Um, if you want to come see me do stand up, DC, come on out. We already have a companion who's coming. And she said that she had her first congrats because of this podcast. So I'm going to have her on uh episode 10 which i'm really excited about but yeah if you are in the dc virginia maryland area come to arlington draft house 422 and 23 april 22 april 23 9 30 p.m shows doors open at nine i've added chanel ali who you guys know from the podcast she's going to be featuring and then i'll be headlining and i've never headlined a weekend there before and chanel is one of the funniest people i know so i'm i feel very lucky that she's part of this show you can actually see her on epics if you're not in that area and you just want to see her perform you can see her on epics i think she just put out an hour or a half hour either way she's amazing um and yeah if you want to come see us live come we can't wait so go click the link below in this episode or it's in my bio and my link tree and all of that good stuff um okay strap in for an amazing episode if you have any questions Gigi and Corey both said that they would be willing to come back so write us dm us um, as always, if you have a congrats, write us, DM us at How Come Podcast. DM me if you'd like to. Um, and we would love to hear about your story on the pod. Or if you don't want to talk about it, you can just put it on our map at HowComePodcast.com. There is a success stories map. And it's so cute. And it's getting crowded as fuck. And we love it. And it can be in as, as anonymous as you want. It can be as detailed as you want. It's all good. Um, okay, so enjoy this episode. And... Maybe I'll see you in the D.C., Virginia, Maryland area in like a few weeks. How come? How come? How come I can't achieve? How come I can't achieve? I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm rolling up my sleeves. Oh, baby, I believe these guests can help. Because I can't do it by myself. I want to just so excited that everybody's here again and that everyone's internet is working uh, because this episode has been a long time awaited not just by us but by companions and we're so excited to get it going welcome Gigi Angle hi nice to be here yay and welcome Corey Rodriguez hey what's up what's up how are you guys doing today can you guys hear me okay I can hear you does it sound good bad and different it sounds like you're in a bathroom <laughs> no i got uh these dj headphones on it's like i'm on the ones and twos right here hold on one second i thought you were making ones and twos <laughs> <laughs> you're so quick ma'am i like it was really quick. a long-awaited episode for us and we're mostly going to be talking about foot fetishes i think it is the most common fetish that i've heard of and Gigi, i want to start with you because What is the difference between a fetish and a kink? Sure. Uh, So fetishes and kinks. uh, Kink is kind of like the big umbrella term, um, which is basically so kink is a big umbrella term that that includes basically everything that falls outside of like your standard uh, vanilla sex. And vanilla is not meant to be a derogatory Mm -hmm. thing because vanilla Mm -hmm. is still a delicious flavor, but it's like anything that's basically non-conventional. And um, what is considered kinky is pretty subjective based on the person. But uh, like some people might think that like French kissing is kinky. And if they think it's kinky, then it's kinky to them. That's fine. So a kink is more like a non-conventional sex thing. Mostly people think of like BDSM, like the most uh, common thing. Fetish, okay. on the other hand, a fetish is a sexual desire for something that isn't 
usually considered sexual most of the time, Mm. um, but is something that somebody requires during sex to meet full sexual gratification and then sometimes to even feel desire at all. Cool. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to backtrack for two seconds then. Like who defines what is conventional then? Like who defines what the norm is? Normative (laughs) patriarchy. Right. And like sometimes with a little bit of Christian values thrown in. Yes. Big time. Very much born out of Christian. Basically anything that isn't like PIV intercourse is and and like oral sex essentially. And actually some people would argue again, this is all not very Those things are kinky. Yes. Yeah. But that's Mm. like dirty and wrong. But mostly it's like sort of in 2022 wisdom mixed in with our social conventions. It's like anything that's beyond like standard oral sex, standard heterosexual sex is like non-conventional. Mm-hmm. Corey, do you find any of these things we've mentioned so far non-conventional? Um, no, no, no. But I, I, yeah. I, I like, I also, like, I get it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know. It's, I'm not like one of those I get people. how other people could find those things, Katie. Yeah. Sure. And I feel like I was at a point in, in life where I remember like learning about like giving blowjobs and I was like, that's disgusting. Yeah. I mean, there are people who, who like as far as anal sex goes, right? So anal sex is yeah. far more intrusive than sucking somebody's feet. I would feel like, but you become so accustomed to it because it's just like, that's what's been in porn. That's what people know to some people. That's unbelievable. If they don't, you know, it's like gross. Like, how could you even fathom that? Right. Like what's wrong with mm-hmm. you? And then other people are like, yeah, you know, it just depends on the person. So it, that's become more natural than some of these other things that are coming along. But like my mm-hmm. one of my big things about it, though, is that like so many people are are have fetishes or extremely kinky or, or not even extremely. I mean, I use extremely. They have their own things that they're into. It's just who mm-hmm. people are. But they're so embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? And then so it's like it's the embarrassment thing that people carry as well. That's a that's a weird thing for me. And it's like at a certain point in life, it's like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm not embarrassed about whatever my choices are, what it's going to be. And I love Mm -hmm. other people who also who also are able to feel like that. Anytime something isn't normalized, you can feel really alone about it. I mean, I think a lot of this stuff, too, with like as far as the shame and shame and uh, discomfort around someone's uh, fetishes and their uh, kinks can also have can also be the reason why those things have erotic charge in the first place. Like the Ooh. fact that there is shame and there is um, discomfort and the fact that you it's taboo and you you shouldn't be doing that. I'm doing air mm-hmm, quotes. Mm-hmm. Um, that's part of why people find it so sexually erotic. I literally, I saw a TikTok yesterday where I get all of my news um, and it was about how um, modesty culture actually breeds sexualizing body parts that like previously weren't sexualized. So like in a culture where you're supposed to completely cover up like an ankle is really fucking hot and horny or or in a tribe where nobody wears clothes all the times, like time, tits are like nothing. You know, like they're not sexualized because it's not part of modesty culture. Yeah. The whole point being like, because you're not supposed to have it and it's bad for you mm-hmm. to want it, it makes mm-hmm. you want to fuck it. Yeah, totally. That has to be a part of it. You have to throw that in as a part of it. I mean, that's a part of everything, though. Like that, ain't, that is one element. But I don't think that's everybody's element. Just like some people don't ever want to get married because they just don't want to get married. It's not that because their parents are forcing them to. It's like, it's always like, what are you supposed to do? Are you, do you, do you not do it because you're supposed to do it? Are you not doing it because you really just don't want to do it? Like sometimes. Yeah. Nature, nurture, like like now, uh, spite. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just trying to have sex, like the way that they want to. And it's like, yeah, at the bo- bottom line, it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter why you're into it. Just like do whatever you want. Exactly. As long as everyone's as long as it's adult. consenting adults and it's like, yeah, safe. If it gets you off, then just do it. Like we're at a time though where I feel like everybody is trying to. We have to like label out everything to make it make sense. Like it's almost like, well, this you're doing this because you have a synapse in your brain that's shooting at this, and it's like everything is mm. not so easily broken down. Um, to to we're still learning people. We're still finding shit in the ocean. We're still figuring out people. Things are just not that easy mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. so we we want it to be so we can categorize it and we can make it be like this is what it is but no like some shit is just like hey you know maybe the person that's how is, you were put together 
that's how you put together experiences or genes or maybe they mean what they say yeah so like Gigi, you were saying that a fetish is something that you need to have for completion Corey likes feet but like you like other stuff too right like it's not just like foot or bust or well it's it's really really subjective (laughs) foot and bust eh? (laughs) i mean and it can be it's really subjective like for some people they maybe and they have multiple fetishes or they may have multiple kinks and then like mm-hmm. only have one fetish that kind of thing or somebody might be like feet are my fucking thing and that mm-hmm. is all i want i just want feet every time i want to put on high heels and like step on people and that's my thing and that's what i love mm. and that's fine the thing is is like it's just it's there's no box that you can actually like put people inside of every right. single person is going to have a different take. And what yes. means a foot fetish to one person might mean something completely different to another. Person. I didn't even one think person about like, putting on heels as being a foot fetish. Like, I mean, it's like, yeah. it depends on why you're putting them on. Right. Right. Again, it's yeah. like context. So like if you're putting them on, cause you're like, there's, you might be putting them on cause you're dominating somebody and they want to be stepped on by high, mm-hmm. they want to be stepped on with high heels and it has mm-hmm. nothing to really do with the shoes, but it has to do with the dominance. Another person will interpret that as, I love high heels all over my junk. Yeah. And you're like, rock and roll, whatever. Be safe. I did that once on a podcast. I got Good to step you. on someone's balls. It was so cool. He was wrapped in saran wrap. <laughs> oh um, my God. <laughs> um, Corey. So f- for me, um, I really enjoy looking at the feet of people that I think are beautiful. Like if I like the, mm-hmm. like if I like the person, if I see someone that's beautiful, like, I can think someone's not as beautiful if I don't like their feet, but if I think they're beautiful and their and their feet fit like what I like, then I'm just like, oh, that's fucking, that's crazy. That's like, I'm like, oh man, that's great. That's a great <laughs> little weakness right there. Your Achilles heel. Yeah, yeah. Did we go look at you? Quick. You know, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily like. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily like just a some monster with with like gorgeous feet is not my thing. Now. A monster? Yeah, you know what I'm. I know, I know. I'm talking to three women, but just, just, just bear with me here. I'm just saying, I don't like some, someone who I think is unattractive. You don't think everyone's attractive? Yeah, so okay. attraction right. First. Somebody who's right. not your type, you're not going to yeah. like them strictly for their feet. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That being said, if people, like, if someone has like, 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 just like they, they're decent looking, someone who's decent for my taste, and then their, and then their, their feet are not great, I wouldn't date that person but i would hook up right because let's say i like everything else about them i can hook up i'm not just like the feet are bad i gotta run i'm not like mm-hmm. that but like you like know that you guy in shallow hell jason alexander Do you yeah yeah yeah, right. uh, yeah yeah with the girl yeah. with the long toe she's like stunning yes. model and he's like the toe and he like runs yeah. off with his little tail yes but i can't <laughs> yeah. so, so so in that sense like him i couldn't i couldn't date i wouldn't want to date that person because i do enjoy playing with their feet and other things. That would be one of my things. Just like you might not like a guy's teeth or you might not like a guy's eyes or his eyes are too close together or some shit. And mm-hmm. you'd be like, man, this dude, I hooked up with this dude one night, but he looks like a possum. You know what I'm saying? He looks like an opossum, but like, I don't, I don't want to date him. Yeah. And, and there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I, you're allowed to have choice in that area. Like a specific type of foot, right? Like, N- no, not necessarily. No? So that's a good, that's okay. a good, no, no, no. Like, I, of course I like some more than others, but there's not like, not like to the, in the sense of like someone would think it's so specific. Like it's so funny when people talk about it that don't know because they 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 think that like you're just out prowling for this like you know this like golden this, foot, this perfect yeah. foot. Yeah, it's not like that. Like, at least for me, it's not like that. Like I'm, I'm much more practical about it. It's just like if the neat kept, you know what I mean. It's not all gnarly uh-huh. looking and whatever. And then the person attached to them, like it does help a right, lot. Right, of right, the right, person right. Attached to the foot. Is a good looking person, then it's like it's easier. But yeah, like I like, you know, like, like some people are like, I like long toes. I like, I don't like little sausage. I don't like little, like little sausagey, okay. like little nubbin, nubbins for toes. No, yours don't look like that. Don't look down on them, Rem. I've seen yours plenty of times. Um, I know yeah. you've seen mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like there's like a bunch of, there's a bunch of feet guys on my Instagram that'll like take it like really personally and be like, Thank you for blessing us with these toes. Yeah, and I'm like, I feel like, got them yeah. from my grandma. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> where all the money is at on OnlyFans. Truly, that, well, it's, I start so, a foot account. Listen, you should have a while ago, and it would be good for you because you have enough of a profile that would be good for it. But here's the thing: like so mm. many girls who get into this, which is funny because I used to like I, this is like my thing for a bit. Like, and 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 um, 
So many people who get into it, though, they overvalue themselves. They overvalue their feet. It's like nobody knows you and gives a shit about your feet. Like, relax. Pipe down. Because everybody thinks that they look at something online. They look at some girl who's like, I sold my feet. I made a million dollars last year. And they're like, I'm going to fucking sell my feet. It's not like that. You're going to find one dude who's stupid who's going to pay you. You know, you might find one dude who pays you $50 for a picture. And everyone else is going to be trying to scam you if you don't do it right. And they're not going to want to pay you tons of money. They don't know you. They could just go people, like they could just go Google feet. Right. But if they if they mm. if you do it right and you charge like a little bit of money and then you like accumulate, you can't just go hit big. This is where people get discouraged because they're like, I'm going to show my feet. I'm going to make like 500 in a week. There and it's was like, no. a whole storyline on Vanderpump Rules this season about. Yeah, exactly. Um, did you see that? Yeah. Well, my friends were sending it to me. Really? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, one girl wanted a nose job. The other women were like, OK, well, we'll pool our feet and we'll take pictures of our feet and like all of our foot money will go to the nose job. And they didn't make that much money. Like Lisa Vanderpump herself had to pitch in. And okay. those are well-known so, people, attractive people okay. with cute feet. I liked their feet and they were creative. Well, that's it. Yeah. Those people, like, they, they don't make a, this is the thing, is, like, are your OnlyFans, you have to treat that shit like a like business. Like a business, yeah. Like, you, like, you have to, like, you, it's not just, like, you go on there and you post a picture of your feet and then all of a sudden the money's just, like, pouring mm-hmm. in. You have to put effort into that. You need to edit your pictures. You need to engage with your audience. It's, like, it's not a joke. And that's the thing. is like, that's that's why those girls, like, didn't make a lot of money because they were just posting pictures of their feet and hoping that things would just work themselves yeah. out. It's not how it works. You have to dedicate yourself to your sex work or it's not going to work. It's Preach. a literal job. Yeah. Preach. Preach. She is she is speaking the gospel. I have I have coached I have coached many friends through doing their, their foot pages and doing all this stuff. Of course, they're like, you know, clearly I don't want any money. I get fun because I'm just looking at the feet or whatever. That's my thing. So yeah. but it's like <laughs> I, I know, you know, seriously, I'm just like, oh, these are great. But at the same time, it is a business. And so many people get caught up and they get so discouraged because they go in and they'll be like, you probably have a few friends who are like, I did it. I did it for a week. I made nothing or I made I made I made a hundred bucks and then I made nothing because they'll go in and like even their OnlyFans price will be like twenty five dollars. Who the fuck's paying twenty subscription for? Two? So, OK, so you get a bunch of suckers Wait, that month and then you, you post two pictures. Yeah. So what would you pay for like a subscription? So for a subscription, if you want to really bring people in, your subscription, if no one really knows you like that, your subscription should be around five or six dollars. Some of the best people, it's around five or six dollars. I sold one foot pick to a guy once for 10 bucks. This is the poisoning that's happened. Then you think everyone's going to want to pay ten dollars for a foot and like or for a pick. It's not going to work like the accumulation of it, Mm -hmm. though. You'll make a lot, but you can't seem like it's almost like here's the mind fuckery of it. And Gigi maybe can speak to this. The mind fuckery of it is. Don't make it seem like you're just out here like I'm about to sell these feet and get this money. Like you have to make it seem like, hey, I like showing my feet and I, and I like tributes for the feet because mm-hmm. it's a mental thing. You have to you can't just it's be an like, this is business. give well. me a hundred dollars. Give me a hundred dollars a toe. Like it's like, no, no one gives a fuck yeah. about your feet like that. But if you make it seem like you kind of care a little bit and you want to show them and you want to do this. Yeah, you need to you need to create your character. Mm-hmm. Even if, if, like, like even if it's you, it's like a larger than life view for the Internet that is a character that the people who are interested in feet are going to want to engage mm. with. Like Corey has said before, it's like you can freaking Google like feel feet and high heels. You're going to get plenty of great pictures, but you want to, people want to know that you care about them, that you care about yeah. feet, uh-huh. that you care about what yeah. you're doing and that you like yeah. it. And it turns you on as much as it turns them on. Even if it doesn't, oh you got to pretend it does or you're not going to make shit. Yeah. Have her on every week. Do you have her on every week? She knows her <laughs> shit. No, but listen, you, she knows but you everything. do uh, you do in a sense. Buy her book. No, you do in a sense, Rem. <laughs> All the fucking mistakes. I, I will. I'll buy your book. And and you do and you do know I'm serious, I will. That's very flattering. You, you do you do care more about your feet than what you say, Rem, because you talked about them and you'd be like, Oh, my feet got dirty and uh, I used to have these dirty New York feet and like you'll be talking about them, whatever. Everything foot related. I've I always do told talk up about and read about feet. what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll be like and you talk about them and then sometimes like yeah, and then you'll like, you'll, dirty, like, do dirty little things feet. and like you can Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, but that's a thing. For some people they wanna see that because they see you so like you know what I mean? They see you like and you're yeah. like, they're so clean up and like and the, and then you the way you t- you talk about them in a way that's like like you don't maybe you realize, but it's kind of like it's a little sex. It's like cool because you'll be like, usually they're so soft and clean and they've been so soft and clean all these months. And then now they're, oh, they're so 
you're like, they're so dirty now. Look at them. And I'm like, oh, this is great. Like, this is just like. <laughs> you're like, yeah, tell me how yeah, dirty tell they me how are. Dirty. Right? Yeah, right? I want to I write to them. <laughs> I literally I like, had like a poll <laughs> going on my Instagram story that was like, why do you think my feet are so dirty? And people were like, New oh York God. City. Oh. Like, your floors are black. Oh like, And yeah. I think it was because my floors were black. I think yeah. it's because you don't wear socks with your boots. Yeah. I don't wear socks with my boots. Which yeah. is another thing. Ew, what is wrong That's with what you? I'm yeah. 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 Oh, you know what? People, People are, are into, into that. that. That's what I'm saying. And so when you you should you should write about it in detail and take videos of you putting your feet inside of them. Listen, <laughs> she's fucking. We're, we're just, just basically starting. We're, starting we're, we're telling you. Yes, we're telling you how to do this and make that extra dough. Get my mom feet. is bringing back my favorite boots today that I love they're to wear with no socks because they're like soft. I get so my sweaty, you guys. <laughs> I get so much toe corn. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> Way too much. I'm even getting a it's, little turned back by this, and like I'm not even into feet that much. So, so. I'm like, God damn, those descriptions are very. <laughs> that's what she does. But that's what she does, and she does those descriptions like she does them like acting all like regular, like uh, like I don't even care, but they're so like whatever, and it's just like listen, and you're like, well, because to me they're just my know? feet, exactly. Does no, but I I have uh, my mom always praised my feet. Uh, mm-hmm. Because she was like, you got your grandmother's feet. So I have loved them in that respect. I'm like, I know that they're a good shape. Liking your body and liking the stuff about you like makes you instantly more fuckable. It really doesn't oh matter like how good you totally. look. Totally. Immediately. Immediately. Um, Corey, right. though, question for you. So can you have enjoyable yeah. sex? Let's say the girl wants to keep her socks on. She's like, I am not into feet stuff. Mm-hmm. Is that okay for you? That, can that be okay I love you. you? I love you. I love your questions. That's an awesome question. Let me tell you why. Uh, mm-hmm. Gigi answered this already, but the the problem the problem with this would be, um, you're you're now you're now almost making me feel like I I might not really enjoy that person that much, and I've been in that position before. I won't enjoy that. What if she has Raynoid syndrome? Much. It's not because she wants to keep her toes from you. Her toes are so fucking cold. And they are white raynoids. Sure. So, so no, I, I still, I still want to see them. Like I don't. A I very specific in, situation. Yeah, that, that's very specific. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, because they're cold and shit, all this other shit, I'd hold them in my hands. Like, I, I don't, I don't care about that. So that would, ah, that would not be a reason. Yeah. Let me answer. Let me answer your. Let me mm-hmm. answer your question because your question is specific good. and it's a really good question. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't, and because it's, it's mental. It's mental okay. because now you're telling me there's something wrong with me for liking you. So I don't really want to engage with you in the most intimate way if I know that you feel a certain way. I can't even get turned on. I won't get hard because I don't like you anymore as a person, uh, not necessarily because of anything to do with your feet. It's like, oh, you you you're judging me Get the fuck out of my bed. Like, I don't I don't I don't want to deal with you like that. You know, what I mean, I don't want to mm-hmm. get to that point with someone like that. You know what I mean? So it's like that's how I would feel about it more than like, oh, I just can't see her feet or she's all weird about it or whatever it's almost like that would be more it's not more of a block because i can't have the feet or whatever it's like i need the feet to, to come whatever it's not like that because i don't mm-hmm. does it enhance mm-hmm. it sure it's an enhancement mm-hmm. like yeah i've been with i've been with a girl i've been with a girl with no boobs before like literally like uh mastectomy right that's what it's called yeah 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 mastectomy when you have no yeah mastectomy. literally no yeah. boobs in it. i mean yeah so yeah that, you know what i'm saying so like and i love i love boobs i don't never think i could be with someone with no boobs i don't know mm-hmm. i could fuck somebody with no feet i do i wouldn't mm-hmm. want to date them though so it, so it's like if somebody was wanted to have sex with you Corey, who like you know just sort of empathetically told you that feet weren't their thing but wasn't sure. like wasn't judging you but was just letting you know it wasn't their thing then that's fine of or course. is it not fine no, of course. So, so I would, I would obviously, if I if I had a connection with that person, I would sleep with that person. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't continue to have a real. I wouldn't continue to want to en- enjoy that person's company if I if I couldn't because we clearly aren't compatible. Mm-hmm. But see, that's the thing with feet. It's almost yeah. like oh, the feet would fucking do the feet would throw you off. It's like yeah, if there was a dude who you didn't like for whatever reason. Right. If, if you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason, maybe he, or he never cleans his fucking ears. And if he was just like, oh, I don't clean my ears because it's too tickly and he has shit in his ears. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know if he's so handsome. Whatever, would you be with him? I'm just saying whatever your thing, whatever, whatever thing, it would kind of bother you a little bit. But then people 
people love if it's like feet to be like, oh, if they don't care about it, to them it's just so dismissive that it's like, who cares? It's, it's right, a right, foot. right, right, right. It's right. a foot, but it's like, well, I care. I don't want to continue. I don't. I get to choose who I continue to spend my time with. I'll find someone else that I want to spend the time with that that is more more compatible. We're not compatible in that area. Would I not sleep with yeah. that person at all? No, I'm a dude. Like, yeah, if there's a connection, I would still. But I'm not going to keep doing it. I'm not going to keep going over like, no, don't look at my feet. No, like, ugh. that like, turns, it, like to me, it's just like, ah, I'm good. Like, I don't I don't mm. I don't I don't want to be in this position. Why would I want to be in that mm-hmm. situation? You know, mm-hmm. but yeah. And, so, and, and again, another thing, Gigi, when you said like, oh, would, would I be like compassionate to someone who's just like, I'm just not into that or or whatever? Yeah. But then it's almost like learning people like like I'm old enough now. I'm mature enough now. I'm not just like I'm not just like there's pussy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm old enough. I'm mature yeah. enough now where it's just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't I don't, I don't care. OK, cool. Like, I don't need to be in this situation. A relationship you know I mean? with a person who yeah, doesn't I don't need- share the same interests. And okay, wait. So now I have a question. Kind of a nice way to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was going to say that that's a nice way to like suss out who's going to work for you. And totally. There's like a whole um, website called we should try it.com. Is that what it is? And it's like got like kinks fetishes like down to like massage you know like things that like you would be into that you are into that you'd be willing to do and Mm -hmm. like it's like Mm -hmm. I do that a lot with clients I do yes no maybe Mm -hmm. lists where it's like a like a list of like everything you could possibly think of and then they each have the list and they kind of circle things they'd be interested in trying Mm -hmm. and a lot of the time it's a really good jumping off point because people might not even know something that was uh, yeah that was like of interest or that they'd be like oh yeah like I would like I could try it they're like yeah, they're like, wait, dripping hot candle wax all over my nipples is a thing we could like, do? Yeah, let's, I could let's be into do that. Let's try. Um, wait, so Corey, I have a question because I'm thinking like in terms of being the sucker and the sucky or the worshiper or the worshipy of the feet. Do mm-hmm. you like to be both or do you prefer to be into the woman's feet? Like what if you meet somebody who's into your feet? Is that a good thing? Are you verse? Not, are you top? Are you bottom? <laughs> I, I'm a top. So, so I, no, I would, I would, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would prefer to be the, I would prefer to be the, the sucker. Uh, but mm-hmm. uh, if someone was into it, I'd obviously be open to it. But, but I'm, you know, typically that's, I, I'm, it's more the other way around. I'm not really, not really receiving it like that. And, and nor am I looking for it. But there were some, girls mm. more, like a couple girls in college who were like really wanted to do that and so it was like it throws me a little bit because it's not that's way more that's way less common like i don't you know it's just way less common you know but like it's so it's kind of like you right. know of yeah that i know of exactly so i'm just like all right i'm cool. like cool. yeah I'm didn't like, expect cool. this do you know how common foot fetishes are i don't know the exact statistics mm-hmm. at the moment but it is um it is extremely, extremely common. It's more common. Yeah. So the, the thought about that is like it, in Justin Lane Miller's like research and tell me what you want, which is a book where he surveyed 4,000 North Americans um, asking them about their kinks, fetishes, et cetera, mm-hmm. fantasies. Um, he determined that like men are more likely to have a foot fetish, but the, but the reason for that is because men are more likely to admit to having a foot fetish. Right. Can I tell you some, like, can I tell you some intricate de- some intricate detail here about like having a foot fetish. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. As we've been talking, like the, pos- the the position you were just in, in my mind, I'm imagining you're like rubbing your ankles and playing with your toes how you were just sitting. And the whole time as a dude who likes feet, you're just yeah. waiting for you to just like readjust and like pop one up in the camera real quick for a second. Like, oh, I'm just trying to adjust myself. Like that's, that's where your brain goes as you see you doing stuff. <laughs> like right there as we were talking, I was imagining you like playing with each of your toes as you're talking and thinking. Yeah, like, I was. So like yeah, so that's like as you the movement that was happening was like oh yeah she's playing with her feet right now you know she's barefoot right now playing with her feet for sure and that's how she's talking so that's what I'm saying that's the shit that goes through my mind so like like yeah I'm not alone but I just like you know I mean just like, honestly for- I was wondering before because I do I like play with my toes the whole time and I was like does he know yeah <laughs> yeah he knows yeah that's that's but you you. You're you're very keen on what you like or what you're into. You know what I'm saying? Like you you like hone in on whatever that thing is. 
you know? Like when you would do those mm-hmm. comedy shows mm-hmm. before, like there was like, there would be sometimes you'd come in, I'd be like, oh, she's coming in, she got the white sneakers on today. And then like in the next shot, you'd be like, hey guys. And I was like, oh, she took them off. Boom. This is going to be a good one. And you'd be sitting on the floor. And it was like, it was. I'm saying, I, I shouldn't say this much. Never mind. Anyways, let's move on. This is on. amazing. Um, so, so you, you were saying. I'm dying. We're going on quite an emotional journey here. <laughs> I know. I'm here for it. I'm just letting you know what the other dudes are like your feet are thinking. I'm just, I'm, I'm enlightening you to that. I'm just, this is not just self-exposure. Yeah, yep, I get it. But honestly, I feel like it's the same with any other part. Like I know I follow this girl who's got great boobs and like when mm-hmm. she posts stuff, she's always like knocking her boobs and stuff and like either it's she's doing it because she likes to knock her yeah. boobs or whatever, but like I'm noticing cuz I like boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. For sure. For sure. It's literally exactly like yeah. that. Except exactly. it's it's except the thing is it's like it's socially acceptable to be in right. the boobs, whereas like being in defeat has all this stigma. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Boom. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. And they do change a bunch too. I see it's, you see you seen old lady feet. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Like I sometimes when I talked to you guys before, I literally got on stage that night because I was working on a cruise ship and I was like, yo. If you guys don't put these brown strappy sandals away and these two inch thick toenails, get these yellow ass toenails out of here. This is gross. You know what I mean? Old lady feet are hurt. I'm saying this to these people while I'm on stage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, this is gross. I was like, if I if I have to meet a lady in a senior home at some point, I'm fucked. I like feet. What am I supposed to do if I meet some old lady when I'm old? Would you ever do the maintenance for the feet? Okay, so oh, I love your questions because these are things that like, this is stuff that I feel like I've thought about. I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a paint your toenails type of dude. I'm not a scrape the dead mm-hmm. skin off your fucking feet type of dude. Go get a pedicure. I'm mm. not, I'm not like when I say like, I like the feet. I am not with a, with a shaver or a knife or a pumice rock. Like, you know, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you were like inept or mm-hmm. something was wrong and you needed me to I help you out. You know I'm saying I'm not like, fuck you, but go get a pedicure. I'm not sitting around. On a date, like, I like feet. Just fucking scrubbing your feet in a foot scrubber. That's not me. That's not my thing. Well, you pay pay for the pedicure. Yes, yes. I've done many times. Hell yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I see. That is is what was going to be my next question. Yeah. I was going to be like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I would be very into feet if my feet, if my pedicures were paid for. I would be like, here are my feet. Yeah. We're going to do all kinds of weird stuff Mm -hmm. with them. Okay. Rock and roll. Totally. All right. Let's... We we got I got three new friends after this podcast. I don't hear you saying much, Robin, but yeah, I'll pay for the pedicures and just you know we'll make it happen. Sounds great. She's just smiling and doing I'm just her job. Down <laughs> yeah, I think I think I saw yours the other day. Her feet? I saw Robin's feet the other day. I think you guys were somewhere traveling. Yeah, Robin's feet were out the other day. They were they were nice. Jeepers, I didn't know my. <laughs> Robin's keen for friendship. Robin is baby. Oh jeez. Twenty one is baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. But while we're talking about youth, Corey, like how long have you known that you liked feet? Like when does that so, pop up? Very, very little. So when my mom, my mom used to okay. tell me that when people would babys- when babysit me, um, she would mm-hmm. say that they were like, uh, like I would be like rambunctious. I'd be like all over the place. And she's like, sometimes the babysitter or babysitters would be like, he calmed down. She said one babysitter in particular, she was like, he started rubbing my nylons like the like her leg and like rubbing her feet mm-hmm. or whatever she was like he was crazy and then he started rubbing my leg and he just sat at the <laughs> table rubbing my leg and my foot and she was like and he was just calm and i was like, it's uh, like I, I don't yeah exactly so cute. i don't i don't remember this at all but my mom would, would tell me that which i thought was really funny um so mm-hmm. yeah I, I guess since i was I, I know since i was young like girls will tell me now that i've went to that I will go to school with, even in elementary school. They're like, you used to look at my feet. And I was like, I did. I was like, I don't, I don't remember it, but I do remember like middle school mm-hmm. and up. I remember like girls that I liked and I would just see them mm-hmm. in class. This is like ballet flats used to be in way before they came back in, but ballet flats used to be in. Then they went out for a while. But everyone was wearing those fucking gross Steve Madden. So much shoes toe or whatever, jam right? in them. Oh yeah, yeah so it goes right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, but that's not terrible. All right, anyways, <laughs> so, so see what she does? See what she does, Gigi? She does. She does shit like that, right? So <laughs> she, she says it like a throwaway. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're the devil. You're the devil. 
But I do remember when I was like little like that around middle school, I would I would remember that people would be like dangling their little shoes. I was always like attracted to like the little dangle and see like their foot. It was like because it's, I don't know. You, and then back then it was like super mm-hmm. embarrassing. You would never be like, oh, your feet, you know. But like all through high school, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I was like that. And then I just started owning it like even then. But then I really owned it when I got like to like college. Like I was rubbing a lot of, giving a lot of foot rubs. And it was like, mm-hmm. that was like. That was like, I don't think I'm unique in that area to a dude who likes feeties in college. It's like heaven. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yeah. Rub. And then some people are into it. Have you it. ever like busted giving a foot rub? Oh, such a good question. I've definitely leaked uh, giving a foot rub leaked. for sure. Yeah. Like, I've never full okay, on busted. And did, did the women know that it was like a sexual experience for you or were they just like, oh, he's like. Yeah. So, so most nice little simp. So, so yeah, this is good. This is, this is, these are, again, you, you know what questions to ask. Many times I've been rubbing feet and, and like someone knows, like they know the way that you're caressing their feet, whether or not you're enjoying it as much as they are because they start to enjoy it. And then their feet somehow end up near ways that they would know that I was enjoying it or not. And then they would just act uh, like, uh, 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 uh. they would just act like, whatever you know what i mean they just act like whatever like they know like they're fo- all of a sudden i looked down and their foot's moving you know what i'm saying like you know like gripping my gripping my dick or something like that and like moving right, around right, and like right, kind of right. like acknowledging like yo i know this is here and like they'll do like a little double kick on it like they do like a little double squeeze on it like oh you really like giving us foot rub and then just act normal again the whole time and it's like all right you just hit that and just acted like nothing and now we're just going to continue with the foot rub like nothing happened you know like that little like confirming squeeze that little like Mm-mm. like oh i know you i know mm-hmm. you um mm. oh you are you enjoying this and i'm like yeah and tap and go tap and go and just keep going and just it, but like nothing else from there no like extra like over the top it's just like tap and go and so then you know you know and then like it's just so things but like that but then it didn't like turn into like a make out or anything <laughs> many times yes but sometimes many no. times okay, many yeah, times yes. yeah but sometimes it could just yeah. be it could literally be a friend and it doesn't have to always be like Sometimes, like, you know, there's blurred line between friendships sometimes as well. This is just human. I literally, like, I was thinking about when we used to give, like, back rubs on the bus yeah. when we were, like, really little. Like, my mm-hmm. friend would give me back rubs, and I'd be like, oh, I hope she, like, touches the side of my titty. Yeah. Which I was just like, wait, oh, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. There's blurred, it's, it's such, it's such blurred lines. And so when things like yeah. that happen, sometimes you're with, like, a, I'd be with, like, a really good friend like honestly you know mm-hmm. and and they would mm-hmm. be like they'd be like i know you like it you little freak and i'd just be rubbing their feet now mm-hmm. it didn't necessarily have to turn into a make out or whatever but it would always be like whenever they're in my presence they're like rub our feet you know and it just became it just becomes normal it's like, like it's just we like know a that thing. you get something out of it but we're also getting something out of it we're getting something so out like, of it we might not be coming feet. yeah rub my feet <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and then, and the, but yeah. then you meet like, and then you meet another over sexualized person mm-hmm. who's like, sometimes I'll be rubbing their feet and they're moaning the whole time. They're just like, oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Oh my god, oh my god. You know what I mean? They're like, I'm like, they're, they're, they're doing it more than, more than me. And I'm just like, this is crazy. And they're like, oh my god. And then, and it, and it's like, there's nothing better than being in a group of women who are like, you're doing one, and they're like, you got to get this done. And they're like, I want to go next. And it's just like, it's just like, oh shit. It's this an is, orgy. This, that, those. Yeah, those are those are that's a little foot orgy. That's, You're that's, getting those are the times when you, Yeah, with my yeah. where my hands are. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a it would be so much more fun. Like, you know, women are not con- socially conditioned to receive Mm -hmm. we're supposed to just give give Mm -hmm. give and never receive so i feel like if you're getting a a a foot rub from somebody who is like absolutely loving Mm -hmm. it you it it maybe is probably a much more enjoyable experience because they're not doing something for you where we're getting into our head being like oh my god i hope he's like not upset about this i hope he probably doesn't want to do this do this i feel bad and then you don't get to enjoy it as much because you get into your head same with anything else same with oral if they're just like i'm so fucking happy to be here like you can just be like, yes. oh, cool. I can just like lay back and relax. Yes. Enthusiasm is everything. Mm-hmm. Have you ever toe 69 No, but I've been That's in. very complicated. Wait, wait. Oh, no, no. That sounds oh, yeah, complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I, I guess you have to be the same height. The six, like. Well, wait, as long as the 69 doesn't require 
her to be with my toes. Yes, I've toe 69 for sure. Like I've been eating JJ and had the toes over in my face at the same time, able to pull them over. And that's happened. Or they like lean up with one while you're getting the blowjob. Oh. That's happened, but not necessarily toe to toe. No, but like I would, but like, I was picturing like toes in the toe mouth. To toe. Toes I was picturing mouth. that yeah. too. I was like, that sounds going toe to toe. That's what it means. Going toe to toe. <laughs> <laughs> but, but very... Little did we know the foot fetish community had actually brought us mm-hmm. that term. Yes. Yes. Right. But, but it's like, that's awesome. You know, you got the JJ, you got booty and you got feet right there, you know, cause of that position. And then, so it's like, that's fun. And then you're getting a blowjob mm. at the same time. That's crazy. Yeah. That's good. That's a great, uh, Ooh. position to be in. A lot of people ask, uh, what is like some people, different things, people are into different things. Like feet that smell bad, feet that smell good, showered feet, lotion mm-hmm. feet, all this different mm-hmm. shit. I think, I think, uh, I don't want to say this is the most common or whatever. I don't really give a fuck what's the most common. For me, I think what I like the most is like not gross, but also like not necessarily smelling like the shower either. I like what the pheromones of mm-hmm. a person is. I like the JJ the same way. Like, I don't like it to be mm-hmm. like, I don't want it to smell like you're, I don't want it to smell like Dove. I want it to smell like you, but I don't want it to smell like you. Yeah from like three days ago you know what i mean but i wanted to smell like you like what you actually smell like that's that's awesome because then you actually see the real compatibility of pheromones and everything in a person so like that's just my thing you know so like that's why sometimes even for some guys for some guys it's a it's a turn on if you are like going sockless in your boots and stuff like that, especially like uggs at a time like that if you're going sockless not necessarily some guys are really into the dirt but some guys are into Mm -hmm. what your pheromones come out a lot more when you actually are yeah. sweating yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit or something like that. But does that mean like we want it after a hike, like, you know, long, I don't know. It depends on what your situation is. So if it's gross, it's gross. If it's not, it's not, but that all is relative. It's hard. Like I can't even, I don't judge people like that. I just know I judge based on what I'm into and I'm, I'd be into. Would you smell a sock? I don't get off from that, but I, I, I don't, Would you I don't smell your own socks. Of course. You, who doesn't? Who doesn't smell okay. their own things? Okay. Okay. That's, that's, not like a, that's not like a sexual thing. Well, I was just like, wondering like, about me. I was like, like I always thing. smell my socks after I take them off to be like, sure. oh, what I, I actually, I actually do that too. I do that okay. to like, smell my shoes I think we, and see if they're we, like stanky. Yeah. Okay. I think we all kind of That's not do a sexual though. thing. That's a hygiene yeah. thing. That's a hygiene, that's a hygiene thing. thing. You're just like, is that me? And you're like, oh, no, no, I don't smell bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. You know what I like? You always check all your stuff. I think Another sort of generalization that people make about foot fetish, people are into feet, and you made this point, Corey, it's like foot fetishes are as varied as shoes in the, that shoes that exist. Yes. Yes. And feet that exist. It's like the people are into different kinds of feet, into different kinds of cleanliness of feet, into different kinds of shoes that the feet are wearing, into stockings, into socks, into boots, into flats. Like it's very, very, very different shaped feet. Some people might love a nubby little toe. Sure, sure. Their, they love those. They're absolute yeah. jam. Yeah. 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 Yours are? So yeah, I think it's I like, it's like making these like. Hmm? Yours are jammed, you said? No, no, no. I said oh. it might be their jam. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you said my feet are absolutely no, I have I normal. Like, Fuck, I just Did you just say toe jam? Thought, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hands. I have nice, clean your, feet. Yeah. And, and your I have hands. ballerina hands. So like it's NFC like it works. is the new BDE. <laughs> nice foot confidence. Woo! Woo! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I used to make these T-shirts uh, when when I first started coming out about my feet, really on stage and stuff. And they, yeah. they were like they would say "feet of the new tits," and they had like a nice pair. Like my boy like designed these cool like little feet on the sh- with these shoes and stuff. And it was like "feet of the new tits" or whatever. And then like all these all these dancers would buy them like like regular like that. They were like oh these the best dance shirts I've ever seen. It was, they were pretty cool. Uh, was, That's I unreal. That. I don't know. It's like we work so hard to keep our feet looking nice and spend so much money to make them look nice. Like if I, if I someone were I was going to sleep with was really into feet, I would be like, finally, someone yeah. was going to appreciate my <laughs> the feet. investment. <laughs> God damn. I thought I was just doing these for nothing. No, I think it's I, um, God damn time. It's awesome that like it's being talked about more because we Robin and I were at a comedy show like pretty recently where a comic was talking about oh like only seven in a hundred people like feet or something and we were like that's not true like that can't that be true seems... 
that seems like a fake statistic. Mm -hmm. And I think it was just to like be the aid of the joke, but it's like, that's not true. And also it'll make anybody else who has a foot fetish feel like they're like super alone and stuff. And like, I kind of just wanted to ask Corey, like what that was like when you came out as like liking feet, like, like was it <laughs> stand up first or like to your friends or yeah. No, my, my friends know, like, it, I, like I said, I, it's mm-hmm. been since very young. So even like elementary, okay. middle and like really kind of middle and really like high school really is what, is what people know. Like I'll see, I'll see people later now that I'll see like a joke I posted about it or something like I remember you like feet in high school you know what I mean so it's like it, it's mm-hmm. been it's been ever since and I and here's something I know my, my I know my dad does as well I know my mom my mom's passed away but okay. my dad used to always be like rubbing my mom's feet and stuff and then other women he's been with like I've seen that you know what I mean and then my mom mm-hmm. even even my mom would like notice she'd be like oh she needs to put some other shoes on like I know like I didn't know anything about whether she had a fetish or not but I know she would notice people's feet she would like say something so mm-hmm. I know my mom mm-hmm. and dad were kind of into that. Now I don't. I'm not saying that it was like passed into me. That's what I used to say to people in short. You know how sometimes when you're talking to people, like, where did it come from? You're like, oh, my mom's like that. My dad's like that. You just say whatever. I don't know yeah, if yeah, that's yeah. really where it came from. But sometimes you don't have the answer. I don't know. Um, but mm-hmm. for me, it, it was like I've always been the type of person that I, I don't. I don't really give a fuck what people think. I've 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 carried that shield for many years of my life, but I've actually really started to strap that shield on even more so, say, in like the last, I don't know, 10 years of my life. I've really strapped that shield on even more where it's like I like believe that I don't give a fuck like before I would say it. And so it's a good block Mm -hmm. for people. But when you Mm -hmm. actually believe it. It's like, I don't care. Like, I don't care to impress you or care to, I don't give a fuck if you're like, ew, feet. It's like, what are you into? What do you lick buttholes? Get the fuck away from me. Like, why are you acting like <laughs> what I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. I do that too. But I'm just saying, the thing yeah, is, like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You know, it's, no, it's if somebody's like, saying I, like the I, dirty I, angle, it's like, you literally eat ass. <laughs> you eat ass, dude. And you're, you're saying something to me. It's like, it's, and so when people have stuff to say to me like that, it's like, I really don't care. Like, it almost is like empowering in a sense of like, I, it like, it, it's, it, it, I feel good. Like when I hear them, I'm like, oh, you're still a little, you're still a little kemped up. Like you're still a you're little, still a little you, you don't, you don't really, yeah. you're a little repressed. You, you don't, you don't realize that. So I'm like, it's cool. It's cool. For, that, that doesn't bother me. And so it's like, what are you going to embarrass? I don't give a fuck. It doesn't, it's like, I guess people feel a certain way when you feel like you're embarrassed and somebody knows and they're like, you like feed and you whatever. It's like, I'm a grown ass man. I'm not a little kid anymore. I'm not worried about answering mm-hmm. anybody. It's like anybody in my family who has something to say, it's like, yeah. And what do you do? Like, that's just it. Like, it doesn't matter. And, and at yeah. this point, when you get to a certain age, it's like, I don't need to justify what I do based on what you got going on. I don't care. You, your, your viewpoint it's almost how you start to feel when you're doing comedy rim and you know how you start to feel after mm-hmm. a while where you're like, I know I care what these other comics think for a long time. You're like, you're like repressed by what the other comics think of you. And then when you get to the point where you're like, you're not my fans anyways. Like, yeah, I want the respect of the yeah. comics. I yeah, respect, yeah, yeah. you know, you want the respect of the comics you respect, but after a while you're like, they fuck you. Like you're not paying for these tickets. The people <laughs> the people who like me are paying for these tickets. So I don't give a fuck if you're like, Oh, that joke sucked. That was a hacky one. That was, it's like, I'm just, you know, I don't give a fuck. So, so it, what, it's so freeing because then you become more creative. Then you start releasing more content online because if you care about what everybody thinks, you won't even release content that you would release. You'd be like, nah, they're going to think I'm stupid if I do. No. Oh my God. I mean, I'm still in this <laughs> place. So yeah. go off. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's so, it's so, <laughs> and, and even, even, you'll even be watching something. You'll be like, oh, like. Another comic does that exact same thing. I can't do that. And you know what I started thinking about that? Fuck them. I'm happy that they're doing it. But but there's McDonald's, there's Burger King, there's Wendy's, there's Chick-fil-A. They're all selling chicken sandwiches. There's Popeyes. Who gives a fuck? They don't they don't they don't one person own the right of chicken sandwiches. One person doesn't get to sell all the fries and all the nuggets and all the all the Italian restaurants that there are. Who gives it like, you know, you can you there's room. There's room for all of it. There's room for every preference too. There is, it's like I'm saying. they're all selling feet, but yours have <laughs> sesame seeds, <laughs> and that's what I like. <laughs> you know, it's empowering. Corey, do you remember your first time having an orgasm? 
So, so, uh, all right, let me give you my, 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 my story really quick. Um, I grew up, I grew up in the, in the church, uh, going to church every Sunday. And, uh, mm-hmm. this is kind of, this is kind of funny to share this, but the first time I, the first time I came in and, and mind you, like all through middle school, I've been hearing people talk about like, you hear people like this when people be like choke the chicken. And I was like, what the fuck's choking a chicken? I used to really think this is so mm-hmm. ignorant of me, but you know, you know, like, like back in the days when a joke wouldn't be funny or something, people would like throw a rubber chicken on like TV. It'd be like a rubber chicken yeah. or something yeah. like that. It was like rubber chicken. I used to always you think do that like a was photo shoot with a rubber chicken. Yeah, and I used to always think that was yeah. choking the chicken. I was like, oh, that's the chicken you choked, that little rubber one, because it's like all oh, wobbly. Like this is when you're young. <laughs> when you're young, you associate weird shit. But I used to always think that was choked the chicken. Yeah. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it meant. Anyways, I'm in like I'm in seventh grade. I used to, I was rocking a suit, probably the color of my shirt right now, which is light blue, like sky blue. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I was at church and um, we, sometimes when we go to my church, like what we would do to meet girls is you like, you leave your church and you go over to like another church. So like a group of, group of you, a group of guys, a group of girls, whatever, you just leave and go to another church. that's like close by your church. So you go into that church and you're meeting the girls over there or whatever, and just watching church service. But like, you like find the girls and you're sitting with them and hang out. That's just how it was. So I went to this, mm-hmm. we went to this other church that was close to mine and um, I met this girl and we were hanging out or whatever. And a lot of times what happened in church is like, you know, you wear like an overcoat, which just covers up all your nice clothes that you're wearing if it's cold out. And like, you know, if you're messing around in church, you just lay that coat down, you know, like over your, over your mm. waist area and the people are playing around or whatever. So that's happened to me a few times. And so now um, we go to the basement and we're in this church in the basement and it's not like creepy, like tombs down there or anything it's just a regular church it's like just rooms yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. other people are down there so i'm down in the basement and i'm kissing this girl and i'm in seventh grade and she she um she grabs my dick from the like mind you i'm, I'm facing you guys now so she grabs my dick mm-hmm. right facing me <laughs> and she's um <laughs> she's facing me with kissing she reaches in my pants and she's like jerking me off like like forward imagine your yeah. hand you know what i mean so it's going in forward that way like thumb forward, you know, going in and she struck me up and like, and I don't know about anything. I hadn't done any of this yet. I never played with myself. Yet. I never did anything. I've, you know, I've done more than just get boners all the time and hide them in my waist. I've never like done anything. Yeah. So yeah. she's doing this to me and then I get this feel. I'm like, ha, huh. you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, Weak. <laughs> but I have no idea. I've never experienced this ever. The, 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 you know, the front of my, my, my suit. I'm like, what did you pour on me? Like the front of my thing. I had never experienced this. So the front of me was like all like, all like what? I'm in a suit at church. Light blue suit. You had Cinnabon earlier today? Oh, oh, my, God. Yeah, exactly. oh my God. All over the front oh. of me. All over the front of my suit. Like, like a lot, you know, I mean, a pent up little dude. I didn't know, you know, it's all this stuff. I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. So, so then, so then I'm like, I'm in the bathroom trying to like wipe off this sticky glue. No idea what this, what this oh shit is. God. I have no idea it came out of me. So I remember that feeling though, and this is like being a, this is like being like a, like a, this is like being a fiend. That next day, I'm at home. I have my hand in the position that she had it in, so I have my hand on my dick reversed mm-hmm. because like I was trying to do, you know, like a <laughs> I'm trying to do what she did to me, and I'm like, what was that feeling? And I'm trying to like chase it for the first, I don't know, maybe the first year or so of jerking off, I reversed off. Because <laughs> I thought that's how it worked. And he's yeah. never stopped jizzing since. <laughs> no, I never stopped since. No, I've been, I've, I have a problem now since. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I reversed and it was, it was awesome. It was, because uh, it would work like that. That's it was just, amazing. it was such a workout. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Yeah, that was my first, that was my first time. It was, I it was awesome. It. Yeah. Chasing that feeling though is pretty, is pretty, is pretty nuts. <laughs> But uh, Chase and I feel like it's pretty You have to get, crazy. like, some tennis elbow out of it, too. You're like, this fucking hurts. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Switch up it's the crazy. grip. Yeah. <laughs> this has been so fun. Thank you for having me, Rem. This was awesome. Of I, I really appreciate you having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you for having me. This has been magical. Awesome. I know. I need <laughs> to have you both back for separate things. But, like, Gigi, you know everything, and we're so happy to have had you here. Yeah. Finally, this is in a long time coming. Um, Corey, yeah. same thing. Long time coming. Happy you're Thank here. You. Um, can you guys tell us where everybody can find you online? Corey, you can go first. Yes, you can find me at Corey Rods on Instagram, C-O-R-E-Y-R-O-D-S, or CoreyRodriguez.com. Corey with an E, Rodriguez with an S. 
find all the funny stuff there. You find links to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff there. And uh, make sure you guys follow. I put up a lot of funny videos, a lot of uh, voiceover videos, stand up okay. clips, and just other various things. Um, really quick, last thing. One thing I started uh, doing yeah. is I, I go into hotels and I do I do like a lot of hotel reviews because I stay at all these hotels all over the world. And so I'll go in, I'll yeah. go in with the black light. I'll go on with the black light and I'll show you where there's been blood come and whatever else. I'll oh show my you. god. I, I'll show you what's <laughs> going on. Do you ever get invited back? No, I never say the hotel name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't say the I won't say the <laughs> hotel name and I'll wait. Like, yeah, I would never be like, I'm at the Sheridan right now. And like, no, no, no. That would be so They'd be fun. like, get out. Yeah. Because okay. what, what I found Personally just, I would I, be living for that. What what I found is the nicer ones are come here. You know what I mean? It's like, you think like this, like, oh, definitely. Yeah, you're like looking around. I'm like, what the fuck happened in here? This is a nice place. And then you go to the shitty places and you're like, all right, well, like cleaned up well. You know, I don't know. It's, it's weird. So honestly, um, it's a so great it. project. Yeah. I'm very into it. It's like Room Raiders, Amazing. but like, yeah, no dating. Just come and blood. And funnier. Just come. Yeah. <laughs> just come. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Gigi, where can everybody find you on the internet? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Gigi Angle. And my website is MissGigiAngle.com where you'll find all the goodies, um, including the G-Spot newsletter, which unpacks sexuality questions from a feminist perspective, but it's actually fucking hilarious. So you should find, follow it. Sure, it is fucking hilarious because you're the best. Yeah. Um, Thanks. I'm so glad that the internet was nice to us today and that nobody was on a boat. Yeah, that was really. <laughs> I was like, "Is this real?" Remy's like dying in like the sweatsuit. Like, guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, that was good. No, this has been so fun. Um, I'm so glad you guys could both come back. And uh, I have to ask you a question after every sexual experience, which this has been. Gigi Angle, did you finish? Uh, I didn't come and may never come again. Okay, great. Love that. Um, Corey, did you finish? Oh, yeah, I, I finished. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. You should have told me that. I would have given you what you wanted, Remy, but you need to ask for what you want. I am not a mind reader. Yeah. Communication is lubrication. Okay, you're oh, right. GG, GG. I need you to give me a more enthusiastic sound bite. Did you finish? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on How Come. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you Thank later. You. Thank you. It's not you, it's me. I try so hard to finish honestly. They say you'll know when you go all the way from A right down to O. Oh, no. I think that I still got a ways to go Oh, oh, I'm sick of this and I have got to know How come? How come? How come I can't achieve? How come I can't achieve? I'm rolling up my sleeves I'm rolling up my sleeves Oh, baby, I believe these guests can help Cause I can't do it by myself I wanna just Marvel section, free ticket section, hello. Uh, if you want to come to the DC show for free, I think I get like five for you guys. So nobody's claimed any of these five yet. If you want to DM me, uh, say you're coming to the show, I can either give you one or I can give you a few, depending on how many are left by your fellow companions. And also companions just because you've stayed so long and because I trust you, I have to sell a lot of seats. So if you're like anywhere remotely in the area, come. Like I'm excited. It's going to be fun no matter what. But I think um, I'll be more likely to come back if we sell a good amount of seats, if you know what I'm saying. So even people who like don't know who I am, just be like, come to a comedy show. It'll be fun. T take a first date to the show. Uh, take a group of people from work that you don't really get along with and you like want to talk about stuff later. You're like, I heard about this wacky show. Um, yeah, even if they don't like me, don't, don't even say that like you're my fan because what if I bomb? Let's see. Um, be like, I heard about Chanel 
And then let's say they have coming problems. They'll be like, oh my God, I'm so glad we went to that show because that other performer was talking about a podcast that I think I need to listen to. And maybe they'll say it to you and maybe they won't, but could be beneficial. You could lord it over them for the rest of their lives if they have their first orgasm because of this podcast. I don't know. Anyway, tell your friends. Excited to see you. Um, and, and jump into my DMs. Get those free tickets. I want to see your faces. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great week.